This is the fourth video on the topic if statements. If you are interested in watching the previous videos on this topic, the links are given in the description box. Now we saw many examples for if and else statement. In all the examples, we wrote two blocks, one for if condition and one for else. What if we want to write more than two blocks? When we were checking for a yellow or black bag, we wrote two blocks to whether to buy a bag or to not buy a bag and we got the correct output, correct? So why do we even need to write more than two blocks? Many times when we write programs, we will have to write more than two blocks. Let me give you an example. Let us say there is a room filled with people and we are going to divide those people into three teams. How are we going to do that? We have a box which has ribbons in six colors. Each person will pick a ribbon and depending on the color, we will put them in a team. If a person picks orange or red, then they are in the red team. If somebody picks blue or violet, then they are in the blue team. And if someone picks green or yellow, they are in the green team. So now we have three groups, which means we have to write three blocks for three possible actions. A person can become a part of the red team, which is one, blue team, which is two, or green team, which is three. So we cannot do that using the if else statement that we learned, correct? Because in that statement, we can write only two blocks for two actions. So if this exercise was about only red or blue team, then we could have used that. But now we have three blocks, I mean three actions. So we need to make some changes to our if else statement to write three blocks. How do we do that? For that, we will use the second type of if else statement, which is the if, elif and else statement. So let's go and see how to write that. We write, so we know how to write the if condition, right? So we write if and then the condition and then the colon and below that we will write our first set of instructions. And then we already have the else statement where we write the second set of instructions. Now here what we are going to do is write an elif condition which will have our second set of instructions and then the else which will have the third set of instructions. So if we have more than two actions then we will have to use if, elif and else statement. There are some interesting things to know about this if, elif, else block. First, we all know that we should write only one if uh, keyword with condition and one else in this whole statement, correct? But in this statement, we can write as many elifs as we want. So we'll have one if at the beginning and one else at the bottom and in between depending on how many ever conditions we have, we can write as many elifs. That is the first one. Okay. The second thing is the correct order to write. So the correct order is first we write the if with the condition, then we write as many elifs with condition and finally the else without any condition. Right. We already know that for else we don't have to give a condition. Correct. So now the way Python will run the code is it will check the condition in if, if it is true, it will run that block and it will complete the program. If it is false, it will go to the next elif block. If the condition given in the elif is true, then it will run the elif block and then complete the program. If that condition is also false, then it will go to the else and run the last block. So when there are more elifs, Python will check uh, will keep moving uh, from one elif to the next one to the next one if the above one is false and if all the elifs are false then it will run the else block so like how i explained for if else statement we can write many action blocks but only one action block where the given condition is true will be run in the code right so we can write as many elifs and one if but whichever one the first condition which comes true only that block will be 
<coughs> run and the output within that is the uh, I mean the action within that is the output you will get. Now the last and very interesting fun thing to know about elif is the word elif is a combination of else and if. So the word uh, so in C or in other popular languages you will see that it is written as else if but in python the else if has been combined together as if elif okay that's a fun fact now in the next video we will see some example of how to write an actual code with if elif and else statement if you have any questions on this topic please leave a comment and codepreneur.com team will try to reply to your question See you soon.